Hi everyone, in this video we're going to carry on where we left off and carry on working on this impulse idea that we've got. So it's currently just one bar, so we're going to expand this by uh, creating a few more clips and then we're going to look at tracks and scenes. So we're going to work quite fast. So what we're going to do is we've got clip one and we could double click here to make, uh, create a new clip. We could also just hit record and we could start playing a few notes and we could use that as our clip. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this. And then if we hold Alt, when we let go, you see we get this little plus icon where my mouse cursor is, and this is going to copy the clip. So now we've got clip one and clip two. Let's rename it. And we'll do it one more time. Clip three. In fact, we won't do it yet because what we're going to do is make a few changes to this clip. Let's add in a few rim shots, and I'm just going to do that by pressing B. And I'm just going to draw in a few notes. Let's see how that sounds. So that's our second clip and then we can do the same technique again. We can either use Alt or what we can also do is we can just press Command and D. And that is now duplicated. And then we'll rename this clip 3. And we'll just take a few away. We'll maybe add in something that makes it a bit more unique. Before. Okay, that will do. So we've got our three distinct clips and we can now use the scenes. So this is scene one, scene two and scene three to play these clips. And on its own, it doesn't make much difference because we could easily do that from our tracks. But as we add more tracks, this becomes really important. So what we'll do is we'll add another track now. So we can do that either by right clicking and selecting insert MIDI track. Or we could also use the keyboard shortcut command shift and T. Or we could also use the create menu at the top insert MIDI track. So with this, the uh, shortcuts, what I'll do is I'm going to drip feed the shortcuts to you slowly. So we'll go for the, uh, the conga, conga bongos. Yeah, so I'm going to drip feed the shortcuts nice and slow just so it's easier for you to remember them as we go out throughout this course rather than just bombarding you with a load of shortcuts at the start which isn't very interesting okay so now we've got this loaded up i'm just going to double click once again we'll go to the pencil tool this is what it sounds like and there's not a lot of talent that's going to go into this i'm just going to draw in some notes see how that sounds just realized i need to make sure that my velocity is up again And we'll just augment this with a few more notes. Okay, and then we'll duplicate this down. And the second one will... And we'll add in one more track. So rather than inserting here or here, what we're going to do is we're going to just go to drums, drum hits, single hits, and we're going for the hi-hat. Let's just find an open hat. So this one's quite nice. And we can just pick this up and drag it into this empty space. And you can see it says drop files and devices here. So we'll just go for here. And you can see it's given us a audio track, which is not what we want. We want a simpler device. 
So the way we can go and change that is if we delete that, insert MIDI track, and then double click, then we get our hi-hat. So we now have a simpler device. This is what it looks like. And you can think of a simpler device as basically a slightly more complex version of one of the pads on our impulse. So you can see we get these settings down here. That's pretty much what the simpler device is. So we'll just double click to create a clip and C3 being the middle note on the keyboard is a pretty good place to start. We'll just copy this and we could copy this across, but we, what we could also do is we could just make this a really small clip and it's just going to keep repeating itself just to show you how uh, session view works. If we now play this. We could duplicate that loop out. It's going to sound exactly the same. Okay, so now what we have is we have three tracks, each with something slightly different going on. And we can now use our scenes to launch these. From here, what we can do is just turn off individual tracks. So we can either hit an empty clip slot or we can launch another clip. So we could have scene three playing, but bongo one, or which is this clip here playing, but it's still playing these two from scene three. So we can stop using these stop buttons. We can record using these buttons. We could also stop the track And as you may have noticed, you can only have one clip in any track playing, which should be quite obvious. And then we've got a standard mute and solo buttons or record arm buttons. And then we can stop everything either here. We can fire it back up again. We can stop it from here as well. Notice if I stop it from up here though, it says they're still playing, so as soon as I hit play, they'll start up again straight away. Whereas if I stop them down here, it's actually killed those clips off. The playback is still running. So pressing this, all it does is it stops all the clips. It doesn't actually stop the playback.